I was just in an Yala Vanzant YouTube spa live chat. It was amazing. And I know you may watch her fix my life just like I watched some episodes. It was nothing like that. This was about forgiving, releasing, and about writing affirmations of I am. One of the most biggest requests or comments in her chat session was, how do I move past the fear? How do I let go of the fear of failing? People were saying this over and over. I have some tips that will help you. Let's go. Buying something you cannot afford to pay for. Tap into it. Walker here. I am a life coach, a therapist, and also a social worker. So I create videos to inspire others. My hope and my prayer is that my trials and tribulations will help you. So hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. This is a good one. I feel it. Um, you know, I, as I said, I just got finished being in Iyana Von Zant's, her spa live chat. It lasted about an hour. I, I didn't get the whole hour because I jumped in when it was already going, but I got some good information out of there. But what I do like about going in different people's um, YouTube chats and, you know, reviewing the comments, it always gives me information about what viewers are really stuck on, which, to be honest, I get this from my clients, too, because it's similar words being said on YouTube, as well as when people come see me, I'm hearing the same thing. A lot of things are fear-based. Fear of not being enough, fear of not being successful, fear of failure, fear of what mom and dad's going to say, fear of what somebody else is going to say. It's all fear-based, so it's all around fear. So today, that's exactly what was being said in a chat as I'm reading one lady or man, I think most of it was women, there were some guys in there too, but a lady, she was like, how can I move past the fear? Someone else said, how can I move past the fear of failing? So I'm just reading and reading. I'm like, oh my goodness. I had some comments. I was trying to help them. Some of us was giving them comments about you know, how to, you got to raise up your confidence. So that created a snowball effect. And then Iyana was reading questions from people from Australia. It was fun. It was really good. She was giving us great information. It was not similar at all to Iyana Fix My Life. This was more about gratitude, releasing, affirmations. It just really resonated well with me. So anyway, one... Um, come into her again. It's time I fear of failing. I want to leave you with three tips that could possibly help you about pushing past the fear and things that I do that helps me when I have fear. I'm so sorry my nose is itching. Oh, excuse me, you all. Um, but anyway, um, step number one, you just got to do it. Seriously, it's as simple as that. If you want to apply for a job, get your resume together, Hit that apply button. Don't think, I think people that are real scary or have a lot of fear, they're in their head. Got to get out your own way. Tyrese Gibson, the actor, talked about that and singer. Man, he's cute. I saw him in person. He was. But he talked about getting out your own way. And you have to get out of your own way. You're thinking too much. You just have to do it. And I'll give you some times when, in my life when I had to make some big decisions. I was kind of fearful, but I just was like, all bets off. It's like throwing caution to the wind and you just got to say, I'm just going for it. And whatever happens, it's cool. What do you have to lose? When I went back to school at the age 45, I had studied going back to school for one year. I, you know, looked at different schools, had to clear up some more of my financial debt, and I had some obstacles. I'm not going to lie to you. I had some stuff going on. It was a miracle. I just got to be honest with you. It was God. It was God. I got laid off that year. I ended up staying with my job for a little while longer while we shut down this part of the company due to me staying. 
They were giving out quarterly bonuses. I was getting big checks, took the money, paid off my other debt from school, which allowed me to register for 2015. This is what I'm saying. If you just do it, miracles going to start happening. Things are going to start moving. And I know a lot of people, the believers out there, they'll say, I'm waiting on God. I'm praying to God for a job. I'm praying to God. I'm praying to God. Guess what? God is waiting on you. You have got to move. He is not going to come in an audible voice. Boom, boom, boom. Tammy, I want you to send 30 resumes out to the universe. Yeah, I think people are. It's not that deep. It's not that. It's not like that. Move. And he is going to give you the intuition, the guidance. Your gut is going to tell you if this is the right move. Sometimes we should go left, but we go right. Sometimes we should go right, but we go left. But if you believe, you're going to receive. Even if sometimes you make a wrong turn, it's almost like that airplane that's, you know, that is up too high and you feel the turbulence. What does the pilot do? He's going to go above those clouds. He's going to bring it on down. They are trained to get away from the turbulence. So that's what's going to happen with you when you live your dream and push past the fear. But you got to move. Don't do paralysis analysis. Get out of your head. Get out of your own way. Step number one is just do it. Just do it. Stop thinking about it. Step number two. Shh, don't you tell a soul. And I hate to focus on jealousy because it's really an empty, negative, nasty emotion. But it has to be talked about because when you start telling people, they get intimidated or jealous. And I'm sorry that this happens. It's, it's friends, it's, it's siblings, it's mom, it's dad, it's cousins, it's co-workers. Shh, don't tell nobody. Because when you do say, hey, next year I'm going to open up my restaurant. I already have my business plan. I've met with some funders. All systems are go. This is what the jealous people may say. I didn't know you wanted to open your own restaurant. How are you going to do that? You know most businesses fail within two years. I knew a friend that had a restaurant. It didn't do well. That's going to kill your dream because you're going to start listening. Then get back in your head. Go back to step one. Get back in your head. Is dead. Now you haven't done anything. Keep it to yourself. Invite them to the grand opening. Voila. Step number three, and this is the most important. There are no failures. You, you, you never fail. You do not fail. And I'll give you a great example. Let's just say you wanted to open a French bistro downtown Chicago, my city. We have one of the best downtowns. We have a huge city. And to open a restaurant downtown, you got to be the top of the line. They do not take no junk down there. They will shut you down. You're gonna you're gonna shut yourself down because business will not prosper. Let's just say you do just that. Open up your French bistro. It's a decent place. It's kind of a medium-sized place, and things are okay. Kind of like shaky, but all in all, you are not making enough money. Your expenses outweigh the income. You have way too many people working for you. The space is kind of too big for just starting out. You did a lot of things wrong, but you did some things right. But year and a half comes, you're like, shut down. I'm going to shut this down. I'm not making enough to pay the overhead. Okay, so of course it's disappointment because you put your heart and your soul in it. But did you really fail? Nope. Because, boom, you did it. You opened up a restaurant in one of the biggest cities in the United States. Check mark. You know how to open a restaurant because I sure don't. You're better than me. Check mark. You already have your business plan. You know how to get funding. I mean, you're a bad mamma jamma. You're a bad guy. So don't beat yourself up. I know it's disappointing, but you did not fail because you succeeded in opening your restaurant. Now what you do, take that same thing you did reinvent it go smaller partner with somebody there's so many ways you can take it but you know how to open a business so you could teach somebody else you could you could charge somebody i didn't i opened my own restaurant now i can show you there's so many gifts into not quite being successful but you did not fail because 
when we don't get exactly what we want, it's a lesson. I felt the same way when I got married at 22 and I got a divorce six years later and I'm all embarrassed. The sensitive Virgo, I'm always embarrassed. Um, and I was. I was like, I'm a failure. Am I a failure? Am I a failure? I'm being cursed out. Things are being thrown at me. I'm scared. You know, that's not living. I had to leave. I did not fail. I succeeded. I succeeded in finding peace. See? So those are my three tips. Just do it. Don't tell anyone. And there are no failures. Only lessons and blessings. And that's what Iyanla was talking about. Being grateful. She said, are you grateful? This is what she told people. Are you grateful? Did you say thank you? And I'm eating my pot roast watching. And I was like, thank you for this pot roast. You know, I'm grateful to have a crock pot where I could fix a delicious, it was very good pot roast. And I drank my wine. And it was a good, you know, it was really tasty. Thank you for the pot roast. Thank you for my wine. Show gratitude. And she said something very unique, but it made sense to me. Someone was saying, how do you forgive? And how do I forgive myself? And she said, ladies, when you use the washroom, hold your hands up. And as you are using it, release. I release things that are not lined up with my life. I release things that do not match my vibration. I like that. I like that a lot. And you do want to release things. We all do. As you release, the bodily fluids from the body release that negativity. Try meditation as well. This will also help you. She mentioned meditation. Don't meditate on opening up that French bistro. Don't meditate on anything. Just let your mind be free. That's what meditation is. Fear can stop you from getting the salary you really deserve. Fear can stop you from talking to the lady that may not look like quite what you want, but she could be a beautiful lady for you. Fear may stop you from meeting that great guy that eh, he was two inches shorter than what was on your paper. You know, fear, fear, fear of the unknown. You've been somewhere at a job for 15 years. You're so comfortable, but you're not happy. You know you deserve more. That fear can stop you. You have a terrific business idea. You know it would take off. Fear of success. Fear of putting that book out. What will people think? What are they going to think? Oh my God, people going to think. People are never going to be happy. Okay, let me just be honest with you. You can do everything right. People stay mad at me. I know they do. They've told me. I was mad at you. You didn't do. I was kind of mad at you. Hell, I ain't know. And I guess it's more important that I didn't care. I'm not on earth to make everybody happy. I'm not on earth to piss people off. But people get mad. You can't please everybody. You can't please mama, daddy. <sighs> you got to do your stuff. You got to live your dream. Push past the fear. Push past the fear. Let's go. Push past the fear. Uh-huh. Push past the fear. Hit subscribe and hit like. Check out Iyala Bonzant's page. And subscribe to her. I don't know when she's going to do another one of these live spas. That lady blessed me. She really did. Check it out now. No fear here, you all. No fear. Bye. <laughs>